Okay, so first we're going to talk about what a stress is. So a stress is going to be concentrated force. And it's going to be the uh, force that's being applied to a particular area. So what are some types of stress? Well, first of all, you've got pressure. Pressure is going to be called confining stress. And it means that the forces that are being applied are equal in all directions. A differential stress, on the other hand, is when you're going to have unequal forces. So notice in the second picture that you've got forces that are coming in like this, but you've got forces that are more powerful that are coming in from this direction. So that's going to be called a differential stress. Okay, so what can stresses do? So one thing is it could cause an object to slide. So if you apply a force to an area of a block, you can make the block move. Okay, another thing that could happen is you could tilt the block. So you can make the block rotate by applying a stress to it. You could also squeeze it. So if you squeeze it, you're going to deform that block. And then finally, if you apply a stress to a block, you could apply so much stress to it that it actually breaks, and we call that rupturing. Okay, now the next thing is, what is strain? So strain is going to be a change in the dimension of an object divided by its original dimension. So there are many different kinds of strain. So here's an example called linear strain. So what you're going to have is a box, and the box is going to have a certain area on this side over here. Okay, now we're going to apply a force to it. Now we measure the original dimensions of the box. So the box is going to have, let's say, a length L sub 0 like this. Okay, then we're going to apply a force to it. And what that's going to do is it's going to squish the box. And then we measure how much was it squished. So that would be delta L, the change in the length of the box. So the stress that we applied would have been the force uh, divided by the area of the outside of that box. Okay, then the strain would have been the change in the length of the box, delta L, divided by L sub zero. So the point is that we could put numbers to all this. We could actually calculate how much force in newtons that we're applying, and then we could also measure how much does this object deform as a result of the stress. And then the amount that is being deformed, that's going to be called the strain. And there are different kinds of strain. So you could have tension where you're pulling the object apart. Okay, so that's going to, like for example, that's going to be like at a divergent zone where the plates are being pulled apart. So that's going to be tension. You could also have compression where the thing is being squeezed together. So that might happen at a convergent zone. And then you could have where it's sliding past each other. That was shear. And then that is going to occur at a transform zone. OK, let's take a break. And then when we come back, we're going to talk about what determines how rocks deform.